From fast and furious arcade racing to highly realistic racing, this video's got it all. Hey G Nation, I'm Ben and today on Android GameSpot, the 10 best new online and offline racing games to play in 2022. Watch the whole video till the end and let me know down below if you are a sim or an arcade racer. Now, let's do this! Number 10, Absoluto Racing. A decent free-to-play racer is Absoluto Racing. The game's main focus is of course track racing and drifting. The graphics are decent, the controls are accessible and there is plenty of events to keep your racing helmet on for a little while. The customization options of Asoluto are pretty in-depth and you'll be able to change everything from the weight to the gear ratios, making it a tiny bit deeper than most other racing games on mobile. Finally, there is a multiplayer mode of course, but don't expect the game to run great on the lower end devices. On the other hand, if you've got a beefed up phone or tablet, it runs pretty well. I also really like the jazzy tune soundtrack. Number 9. Reckless Racing 3 Reckless Racing 3 is an overhead angle racing game and it completely removes the friction physics from the mechanics. Therefore, the name. The game looks gorgeous and the controls are smooth, but more importantly, the game will leave you wanting more. There is about 36 routes with 28 vehicles to pick from, a ton of modes and events and a lot, and I mean a lot, of power sliding. So if you like power sliding... The controls are customizable and there's full gamepad support. Reckless Racing 3 will cost you just a little over 2 bucks and while it hasn't gotten any update for a long while now, and it probably won't, there is still a lot of fun here. The only thing I really don't like here are the extra in-app purchases to unlock things faster. But they're optional, so there is that. Number 8. Hot Lap League Hot Lap League keeps things light and fresh. It's a slick, time trial racer that is as stunning as it is addictive. The races only take a few minutes from start to finish and it's very hard to resist trying to do a better time and again and again. You'll be racing and drifting your car over 150 unique tracks available from the get-go and forget about tuning your vehicle. The only way here to improve your time is to become a better racer. There are daily events and challenges for rewards, over 100 cosmetic collectibles to unlock and customize your car, and PvP mode that lets you go head to head against another player's ghost, chasing leaderboard rankings, rewards, and glory. Hot Lap League is like Trackmania and Ridge Racer had a baby, and it's a ton of fun. Number 7 Asphalt Extreme not many games get to have a second chance. Asphalt Extreme is one of the few exceptions, and after living a life as a free-to-play game on mobile for a couple of years under the Gameloft umbrella, here it is back from the ashes in the Netflix game library, with no ads, extra fees or in-app purchases, which should make it a better game, right? Well, the answer is a little more complicated than that. Extremes gives off-road racing fans a run for their money, or in this case, their Netflix subscription because that's what you need to access it. The graphics are neat and so are the gameplay mechanics with trucks, SUVs or buggies each having their own physics and feel of driving. The multiplayer mode lets you race against 7 others and the limited events are cool. Problem comes with some of the lagging and bugs, glitches that can bother you shortly but also right down put you in rage mode like when you lose your entire progress in the game so Netflix, if you're watching this, you gotta patch this up. Number 6. Rebel Racing Hutch Games, the guys behind Rebel Racing, are no stranger to the genre with their previous success, Hot Wheels Race Off and its 50 million downloads. Rebel Racing will see you competing in events along the west coast of the US with stunning graphics, some beautiful cars to tune up like the Bugatti Chiron or the Ford GT that you can use to take on other players while throwing down some gnarly looking drifts and if I may, epic overtakes. Visually the game looks really good whether it's the tracks or the various impressive looking fully licensed cars. So if you like what you see and are feeling rebellious on the roads, give Rebel Racing a try. Number 5. Gear Club Gear Club from Eden Games features a realistic driving experience and we're talking simulated engines, aerodynamics and suspensions. The tracks where you'll be racing are gorgeous and the cars are well designed too. Plus, you can nerd out by tuning specific parts of your cars for that bit of extra boost. This is a simulation racer in the vibes of Gran Turismo and I've personally never been that crazy about sim racers 
as they do tend to have harder physics and mechanics when it comes to controls. Here the controls are hard and playing with a Bluetooth controller is definitely recommended if you're more of an arcade or casual racer, but for the sim racing fans, you can choose from amateur, semi-pro and pro driving controls and tune them up to match your driving style, which is nice. Another feature that is pretty cool is the rewind button, and unlike many racing games, the game starts you off with a nice car. Last but not least, if you're into competitive racing, Gear Club has a pretty fun multiplayer mode. Number 4. Rush Rally Origins Origins is the fourth game in the series and possibly the best one out to date. It's fast and furious, it looks great, and the sheer number of racetracks and cars to unlock won't disappoint. Origins really embodies the frantic, split-second drama of rally races almost to perfection. The cars have more weight and realism than your average arcade rally game on mobile. In other words, it will take some time to practice and get good. Also, the game will punish you if you go off course or crash into something. Forget about getting back and taking a podium spot. This isn't to say the controls are to blame, in fact, the controls are pretty much spotless. Visually speaking, Rush Rally Origins looks great, but you will have to do with the overhead camera angle. I just wish you could switch to a third person angle, but maybe for the next game, one can wish. Number 3. Asphalt 9 When it comes to arcade racing, Asphalt 9 is the absolute undisputed king. It's extremely easy to play and one of the prettiest races you can install on your mobile. It is also the sequel to a giant in a genre, and I'm talking of course about Asphalt 8. With over 150 high-end hypercars, auto and manual racing controls, over 60 seasons and 900 events to seek your teeth into, Asphalt 9 is huge. Add to that an online multiplayer mode that will have you racing against 7 others from all over the world, a fantastic soundtrack and a stream of constant updates, you simply can't go wrong with the one that beats Need for Speed at its own game on mobile, aka Asphalt 9. A few cons worth mentioning though, the game has too many ads for my taste and you need to have at least 3 gigs of free space on your phone. Number 2. Horizon Chase Horizon Chase is easily one of my all-time favorite racing games on mobile. It has that retro-inspired vibe that reminds me of Sega's OutRun and the good old retro times. It features dozens of tracks, a bunch of cars to unlock, it's visually beautiful and has one heck of a soundtrack. And if all that isn't enough and you want more, well, Horizon's got more in store for you. You can play it with most game controllers, it has a pretty robust online multiplayer mode along with leaderboards and it's also playable offline. The free version is a demo and you can unlock the full game for 99 cents, which is an absolute bargain if you ask me. If you're an old school gamer, you'll be swept by a wave of nostalgia as soon as you launch the game. And even if you're not, I still highly recommend this one. And before we check out the reigning champion and king of the all, here are some honorable mentions. Number 1. Grid Autosport Grid Autosport on mobile is a port of the PC game and hands down one of the best ports as well as racing games on your Android and iOS. We're talking 100 cars that you can race with on 100 tracks. The driving is realistic and the controls are customizable, so whether you're a touchscreen control pro, a fast and furious tilting machine or would rather use your wireless gamepad, it's all there and it can be tweaked. As for the game modes, the classic career mode, quick races and other cups and championships are here. You can also create your own custom event or compete in the multiplayer mode. Visually, Grid Autosport is definitely eye candy and it runs great too. The price tag is a little bit high, but you're getting the full PC game with all the DLCs and one heck of a racing game, so I would say it's totally worth it. And that sums up my picks for the best car racing games to play in 2022. But now I want to hear from you in the comments. Which racing games would you say is the absolute best? Of course as always if you enjoyed this video clicking the like button does help me out a lot and I would really appreciate that and if you're new 
consider subscribing because I put out new videos like this every week. Also, a special thanks to my YouTube members and if you want to support my content as well as get some pretty cool rewards, links are down in the description. You can also show some love to this video with a super thanks. Once again, I'm Ben, thank you AG Nation for watching and I'll see you next time right here on Android GameSpot. Stay epic!